Every idea begins with a question. How can we delay pregnancy and delay marriage to make sure that girls stay in school longer? What cues do you use to decide that somebody's ready for marriage? Can India really make it to the 48 million additional users that uh, India wants to uh, contribute to the FP 2020 goal? How do we make sure that our work is uh, impacting policies that make the invisible populations visible. At the Population Council, asking questions is at the heart of what we do. Because you cannot make the world better if you don't know how. And you can't know how until you ask. For 65 years, the Population Council has asked questions that have led to solutions now used around the world, which have improved the lives of hundreds of millions of people. In 1974, the United Nations hosted a landmark conference on population and development in Bucharest, Romania. And our president, John D. Rockefeller III, gave a groundbreaking speech where he linked population growth and population dynamics to social and economic development. But most importantly, he really made the case for investing in women. And that if you invest in women as front and center of development efforts, then development happens much more quickly and much more sustainably. These questions have fueled vigorous research that the Council has done for decades, building evidence of what works and what doesn't work to develop solutions that make a real and sustained impact. The Population Council has been really a pioneer in the field of contraception at a time when there were no methods really for women. And they understood that long-acting reversible contraception was important and they found this method that could bring to people not only effic effective methods but methods that would be uh, easy to use for a long time. And nowadays 170 million of women are currently using methods that are based on the Population Council technology. Today, the Council works in nearly 50 countries worldwide, conducting high-quality research that has had a transformative impact on individuals, communities, countries, and the world. To me, science is all about collaboration. Uh, it's very rare that a big, important scientific finding is the result of the work of just one scientist. The Council is reputed for the rigor of its research, and uh, that uh, plausibility of evidence uh, makes it much easier to say, yes, this works, no, this does not work. At the Council, we use research as a tool to understand what works, what doesn't work, what is the most cost-effective way so that we can advise policy makers, donors, governments, and programs on the ground to deliver the most effective solution to the girls themselves. The Population Council isn't just a research organization. It's an ideas organization. It's an evidence organization. It's an impact organization. There are many organizations that conduct research, but we conduct research that makes a difference. There are not a lot of organizations that combine the research side and the policy and program side. In a world where resources are limited, we need to make sure that every dollar invested has the maximum impact. And we know that by investing in high quality, rigorous research, we can make sure that policies and programs are developed based on what we know works. And that's why for me, we need to be making sure we continue to invest in research because it actually helps to save money and ensure that we deliver real improvements to the lives of people around the world. Ideas, evidence, impact. <laughs>